Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Andre, and uh, today we're doing something I have never done in the Beast. I've done it before in the old smoker. Uh, I'm excited because I didn't realize I'd never done these in the Beast before. It's the boneless beef rib finger meat. I know it's a mouthful, but this is just the meat between the ribs. No bones, nothing, just the meat. It's beautiful. And I love it. Let's uh, let's get to it. I'm going to try and film this video as much as I can outside. Since it's fall, the weather is kind of sketchy, and I'm taking full advantage of it. So really, there is almost zero prep with these, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So this is what they are. Just like it says, the, the rib meat, it's beautiful. The only thing we're going to do, if it's on, yeah, they have left the membrane on. So I'm going to just pull it off, off all of these and a little excess fat. We don't need all of that on there. There we go. That membrane, we don't want on there. Doesn't matter if you cook them fork tender, that stuff still will be kind of tough. We don't want that. So I'm gonna get all these done quick. We got that done. The only thing we're doing is adding the rub, the garlic, pepper, salt, and ancho chili. Do quite liberally, because then we're gonna just mix it together just to make sure they all the sides get covered. Look at that. They're all covered now. Exactly what we want. And uh, to the smoker we go. Yeah, and excuse the noise from my neighbors. They decided to do uh, lawn care at the same time. Anyways. So the smoker's been going. I have it at like two, it's like 225 to 250, it's somewhere in between there. And now we're gonna just take these pieces and as they come, lay them out on the rack. We don't have to do anything else to them, just lay them out and then let the smoker do all the work. I'm excited because I love these things and I, I, I can't believe I haven't done them in here yet. There we go, in the smoker. They're in and we're gonna give them two hours and we'll be back to check on them. We're just at two, well, just over two hours, and uh, let's take a peek. I'm uh, very curious. Oh, they look great. You know what? I'm gonna pull them and uh, wrap them. They're done. They're, they're at the point where I want them. Okay, here we go. They're pulled. They look fantastic, but being rib meat, after only two hours, they're not tender. They are still a ways to go. We're gonna add a little bit more flavor. We're gonna add a little bit of butter. Spread it around. You want these things to just explode with flavor and I think this is gonna do that. What I did, I sauteed some onions, figuring, you know what, add another layer of flavor. I don't want to take away, but I want to add. We are going to add some beer. It's a local beer. I like supporting local companies. I'm not sponsored, but uh, I'll support local when I can. Good. Put that in there. I want to add just a little bit of water. Just a bit, just to mellow everything out. Just mix this together a bit as best you can. 
that's that's all I'm adding to it. And uh, we're gonna just cover it up, throw it back in the smoker, let it go for two and a half, three more hours, and then we'll be back. And here we go. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm excited everybody. It's been so long since I've cooked these. I've never, like I said, I've never done them in the beast. And <clears throat> so uh, let's just open this up. Be careful because there's gonna be steam. Oh, oh. Deal with you after. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell that. Got my knife and fork. I'm gonna just take, let's see, I'm gonna take this nice big one. Are you guys ready? Look, oh, 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 look at that just fall apart. That's exactly what I want. That is, oh, oh. Knife, you don't even need a knife. Smoky, smoky goodness with all that spice. You do get a little bit of the sweetness of the onion. Little hint of beer, but I don't want it to, I didn't want the beer, I never want the beer to overpower. Mm. You know what? I could just sit here like this, just eat it the way it is. Fantastic. The nice thing is, there isn't a lot of liquid, but there's still some, which is good. But what I want to do, I want to try. Holy crap, that's awesome. So now, if you want it really, just drizzle this. Oh my God, that's fantastic. You don't need barbecue sauce because you've made your own, your own sauce right there with those onions, with the beer, a little bit of water and butter. That is just a fantastic way to end this day. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm still in shorts and t-shirt. I'm taking total advantage of this weather. Go out and buy the boneless beef rib finger meat. If you can find it, do your homework. Find a butcher that can get it for you or whatever. Fantastic. I'm over the moon. This turned out better than I had hoped. I'm gonna go eat so good right now. I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry. Wow, that just, ooh. Yeah, I know, I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here, but I can't, look, even the wasps want it now. You go away. Guys, anyways. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Show some support. And like always, happy eating.